hello, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! out of Prescott Valley, Arizona. And I enjoy sharing um, the things I love, rubber stamping specifically and paper crafting in general. And I've been doing that now over 22 years um, with Stampin' Up! over 25 just as um, a stamper rubber stamper. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip my screen, you're not looking at me, and kind of get into what I'd like to share today. First I'd want to point out my free online classes. I've been um, doing these now a couple months. This August will be the third month that I've done them. Um, the August the 29th, which is a Thursday, 2 p.m. Arizona time, which is Pacific time right now because of daylight savings. Arizona and the area we live does not train, change clocks. Um, and I'll continue those through the rest of, um, well, all the way through November. We'll see what we do in December, probably a recorded video. And um, I'm doing those on Facebook, in my Facebook page, Just a Little Ink. And um, anyway, I want to kind of point that out. That's something fun. And that is a free class to watch. And then you get a free make and take with a small order, a qualifying order, um, $35. And that's a pack of paper, um, all cut, everything for you, just misses the um, inks, stamp set, um, and you can do them with whatever you'd like, and it's always a surprise what I come up with. Um, and so I will have more details of that on my Facebook page um, the beginning of this next week. Um, this particular video is in place of um, my Facebook Live that I generally do on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Um, and so I kind of want to point that out. This is going to be a sneak peek out of a new stamp bundle. So, and actually a whole suite. I'm not using a couple of the items out of the suite, but out of our September to December 2025, 2024 mini catalog. Um, I can't show you the inside, not yet. Hopefully you've gotten one. If you've been ordering from me in the last year, you've got one coming in the mail if you haven't received it already. Um, and I will tell you, as I peek in here myself, if you've got that catalog, this is the suite that is on pages. So hold on just a second and I will tell you. They're on pages 32 and 33 of that annual catalog, or of that mini catalog. And so, I kind of want to share with you some of the products that we're going to use. So I'm going to use the stamp set, Snowy Wonder, and so it's the bundle. It comes with a coordinating die set, doesn't come on a magnetic sheet, that's how I store mine. And it comes with, um, the suite comes with some beautiful um, pool party ribbon, it's got little balls, uh, little, what do you call those things? Oh, my brain's not working real well. Um, Pom-poms are on the edges and I've seen some people that actually in the catalog they even show um, coloring that. Then there's some little um, snowflake embellishments as I drop them out of here. They're really itty bitty. Um, they're called white loose snowflakes. Tons of fun. And then you're going to get in the suite of products and the things that coordinate um, 12 sheets of coordinating paper and this is the um, snowy scenes 12 by 12. I'm going to show you kind of the um, one side. I'll flip it over in a minute. It's a beautiful colorful paper. It's um, pool party, garden green, petal pink, uh, there's some pumpkin pie and early espresso and there might even be some daffodil delight in here. Um, and then these are the other sides, some really nice tinier prints, great for layering and just fun, fun, fun. It was hard to decide which ones I wanted to use for this product in this project today. So we're going to use actually this paper and we're going to use, um, that's, well, I guess that's all. I'm only using one, one side. Fun stuff. So let me get that out of the way. I know. Got some great critique um, on my setup and so I'm trying to do some new things so I'm not reaching across my camera all the time. 
So what I'm going to do, you need for this product project, you need not quite a half a sheet of pool party cardstock. You're going to want a piece that is 10 and a half by four and a quarter. And you're going to score that at, and I think I wrote it somewhere here, at three and a half and at seven inches. You're also going to need a few panels to fill in, and those are all going to be cut at four inches by three and a quarter. So four inches tall, three and a quarter wide. And so that's where that designer series paper came in. And then you want a piece of basic white that's cut that same dimensions. Okay. To do all of those little designs I'm going to do, because we're going to make little snow globes. Oh, and I didn't even told you, we're going to make a triple panel card with this set. Um, you want a piece of basic white that's cut six by three. Um, and that should give you plenty of room to get all the little elements that you need to cut. You're going to want a piece of pool party, again, the second piece that's six and a half by three to cut the top parts of the domes of your, um, of the dome part of our, and it's not the wider one, it's this more narrow one. And a piece that's three by three of garden green, and that's for the base. And then I've got all kinds of itty bitty little pieces that you're going to want. You're going to want a basic white piece that's one and a half by three fourths of an inch, and then a piece of pool party to layer underneath it that's one and five eighths by seven eighths, so it's just slightly bigger. And then you're going to want two pieces of basic white that are one inch by two and a quarter inches. So those are the pieces. Hopefully you can go back and watch this later and see all of that. And then I have I've already cut everything so that we don't have to watch me doing all that, but um, I do want to go through stamping all of it. So on our 10 and a half by four, I told you we've scored it at three. So I'm going to fold it into that score line, grab my bone folder over here. And then I scored it at seven and a half, or no, excuse me, at seven. So that makes sense, right? Three and a half so that I have a Z fold kind of card that is four and a quarter and it ends up being by three and a half. Then I've got those pieces of um, designer series paper and um, our basic white and I'm going to go ahead and adhere those just use my stamp and seal I'm going to layer one on the front. Like so. And I'm going to put one on the last panel. I really love the colors. It's a little non-traditional. Um, for winter in some ways, but I liked the pool party in the garden green. I'm not sure I would have ever picked those. So, Hopefully you are already a subscriber of mine on my YouTube channel or, and a follower on my Facebook page. Um, if you are not, there will be links on the Facebook page and actually on my YouTube channel for you to deal with both of those things, and I would so appreciate that. Um, also, if you aren't um, someone who subscribes to my um, to my email list, there will be a link in both places for you to be able to do so, and that will give you options. I email my online class. At, um, I'm going to start doing that at the beginning of the month, um, since I'm doing the class at the end of the month, and. Um, put that out of the way and set this up here and then we're going to grab a couple pieces here i'm going to go ahead um, actually i'm going to start here and show you kind of what i would do with my pool party anyway i, I send um, some tutorials that's a place to know about all my different um, events and classes definitely about any specials that stampin up does and so it's it's well worth um, signing up for that um, and so, and this new mini catalog um, starts on September the 4th. So, 
Out of your Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, you're going to cut three of these domes. And they will fit across this panel that I told you was um, six and a half by three. So you're going to do that. And when you do, let me slide out my all my different pieces here. So when you do, you're going to end up with three domes. So we already did that, so we don't have to watch me do it. Then you're also, out of that three by three piece of garden green, get this over here, you are going to cut three of those bases and they will fit across here. And when you do that, you will end up with the three bases that go with those domes. Kind of fun. But again, I didn't think you really wanted to watch me um, stamp all that. So then out of this six by three, and I'm going to kind of move these out of the way for the moment, slide them up over, maybe up over here, just so they're out of the way. Okay, so out of this six by three piece, I'm going to stamp all the little stamps out of um, Snowy Wonder. There are all these great little greetings and there are a lot of these images on the designer series paper if you'd rather cut them out to include. And a couple of these dies do cut out sections from the designer series paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp them, but then you're going to see that I wouldn't have to have done that. I could, um, um, I, I've already done so, so we're not gonna cut them out. I'm only gonna show you how that all fits on this section of paper. So I'm going to stamp in basic or in tuxedo black. I keep on wanting to call it basic black from years ago. I'm going to stamp my snowman and I need to make sure I clean everything just because you want to make sure your stamps are clean. Don't, and I'm using a um, one of my um, Simply Chamois just to get it wiped off and then I'll clean him off. And I'm going to do his, um, his top hat. Let me grab a smaller block. I'm going to do his top hat above, above here and see if I get it dark enough. And if you're not getting a great image, where's my pierce mat? I've cut a pierce mat in half. And with our photopolymer stamps, the pierce mat really does help give you a better impression. So I'm gonna stamp the hat, and I'll clean that one off. And let's see what else needs to be in black. That, oh, nope, one more thing. We need to do our little penguin. He's gonna come in here. Space him out over here. I've got a little bit of clean or a coloring to do on the snowman and the penguin. And then I'm done with my tuxedo black ink. So I can get that out of the way. And I'm going to grab um, the little house. The house gets stamped in early espresso. And I can come and bring him all the way over here. We'll see how we do. Mm, close. Clean that off, get him put away. Then we don't need the early espresso for anything else. So we'll put them over. Then I want to stamp for my snowman. We're going to stamp in petal pink and then in um, poppy parade. Where is my gift? 
here's my little gift package. All kinds of little things. Reminds me of years ago when um, we did color forms as little girls. I don't know if you remember color forms. I'm telling my age. Or little plasticky things that you made scenes out of. You could dress stuff up. I don't know. And paper dolls to some degree, which I also loved. Kind of things of the past. But simple pleasures. And I'm going to do in in uh, Poppy Parade, my other my other gift. Put that away. And I've got a number of things that are going to get stamped in Garden Green. And you'll notice I've got an older style stamp pad, but Garden Green's been around a while. And so I'm going to stamp. I got to grab a different size block. I'm going to stamp the larger of the trees. And get them going here. So I've got my tr taller tree. Clean that up. And then there's some smaller trees, and we're going to stamp both of them. And I may just go ahead and stick them both on my block. When you've got photopolymer and even our cling mount stamps that we have now, um, you don't have to necessarily do them separately. I'm going to ink them up, stamp them on my paper. Okay, and we're getting really close to having all of the little elements stamped. I've got one more thing. Put those away. I've got these peaks. They remind me of either the um, Collegiate Peaks in Colorado reminds me of, and here in, in uh, Arizona, it reminds me of um, the San Francisco Peaks up near Flagstaff. So but there's two of them. One's small, one's little. And so I'm going to stamp those. I'm going to actually put them in the other direction. You'll kind of understand when I get going here. Then I've got some open space because there are some dyes on here that cut out snowflakes. They're itsy bitsy, but they do two at a time and you get two of them. And so that helps a lot. Um, so I'm gonna put these away and then I'm gonna show you what I would do and then I'm gonna just get busy showing with this fun card. It is a lot of fun, this triple panel. So I'm gonna put this away. Don't need it out. I don't need my stamp set anymore. What I would do is I would group up all my different elements I want to cut. So I would, you know, line up my house. I use post-it note tape, which works really, really well. You can tear off little pieces. It's just like the sticky portion of post-it note. Um, and it helps when you're running all of this through. Let's see, then I could put a, I could put my um, gift. I could line up my snowman, probably at least his hat. I could then cut up some of these other things. And then I'm only running through the machine maybe two, three times, depending on. But that you're going to kind of do that with all your dies. I've already done that so that we don't have to. Let me just put it up here in the screen. So I've got all these little pieces. So, yeah, so here we got a couple other things we are going to stamp. So I've got all my parts already cut. So you can kind of see that all those pieces and then I colored and that I need to show you just real quick because you will need that. It's listed in my supplies. So let me grab this back for a moment to show you all the things I did do some other cutting or coloring with. So with my Daffodil Delight blends, Stampin' Blends, I'm going to color in the windows, and this is the dark, you could use the light. It wouldn't be a bad thing. And you're gonna do all of your windows. For the door, I opted to use the light crumb cake just to set it off a little bit so that it wasn't um, all white. Just didn't seem right to me. Then with the dark pumpkin pie, and again, you could use the light pumpkin pie as well because they come in a light and a dark. You're gonna do the penguin's um, beak and his, his paddles and the carrot nose on your snowman. Then 
on all of these things, the light pool party works really well to kind of give a, a snowy feel. And so you're going to color in around the snowman to give him some dimension. Kind of up and around and kind of you can do the same thing with the penguin. And, um, there's other places you could do that. I had not done that on the one I already cut, so we will do that for him. like so and then for mr penguin i think i might put him on the other side over here maybe around like so so you get kind of the idea that you're doing just a little shading you wouldn't have to but i just think it adds a lot then you're going to pull from the the um, stamp set some greetings i think that's my last things to stamp there's one that says seasons greetings so I'll show you quickly on this one. I'm gonna line it up and grab my um, H block. I'm gonna line it up and you would stamp this in Versamark. And before I do that, our additions, embossing additions kit comes with um, a embossing buddy which you'll want to use because otherwise you're gonna have fingerprints that were on something and you'll have this nice impression of your fingerprint I'm gonna grab that kind of brush this off every time I use it it leaves some some uh, powder I'm gonna ink up in Versamark ink my season's greetings stamp if I can get it as straight as possible. I'm going to pull it off. You can see that in our Versamark ink is also a um, put my cleaner is also a um, watermark ink and so you can get a darker tone of the um, same color that you're stamping. And then the other thing that comes in our embossing editions kit are these tweezers and they lock automatically which is awesome. And then I've got our wow, our basic wow embossing powders, which are white, clear, and black. Some awesome colors. And so then I would tap that off, heat it up. I'm gonna just set this in here like that because I already heated it, so you don't have to watch me do that. So we're gonna set this out of the way. And magic of television, we already have our um, our base done. So then the last thing I've got, that one and a half by three fourths inch piece, I want to stamp um, let, let it snow. It's, it's one I chose. There's another one that says Happy New Year. And so maybe that's what you would rather use, but you have your choice. And I'm gonna pull out Pool Party ink again. And I'm going to ink it up. And so that is going to come on that small piece right as close to center as we can get. Hopefully my face is not in, doesn't look like it is. So like so. And get all my stamps put away. Then we can assemble, which is the fun part anyway. So we've got all our parts and pieces. And we're going to get going. So I'm going to start just by layering this while, while I have it out. So use some of my stamp and seal. Don't need a lot of it. You see all those little snowflake pieces. And we're going to layer it onto the 1 and 5 eighths by 7 eighths inch piece. I know it's a little tiny piece, but we want that for later. So there it goes. Everything else I'm going to be assembling with, I am going to want to use um, my multi-purpose liquid glue. And so I'm going to get it lubed and ready to go. And I'll show you. So the last things we've got, I told you you needed a piece, two pieces that are two and a quarter by one. And the way we're going to kind of get a snowy look 
So I'm going to tear it. And so I'm going to tear it toward me as close to middle as I can. If it has a little variation, it just looks like snow. So then I'm going to grab out my liquid glue and I put a little bit along the top edge. Well, we say we are. We haven't used this glue, obviously, in a little while. There we go. And then I'm going to grab some along the lower edge of my I'm going to stick at my holder. So then I'm going to lay it on top of here. Because I'm going to lay my um, base onto here, that's going to be just fine. You'll notice that it goes a little beyond, and that is by design. So then I'm going to grab my paper snips, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip away from the back side those pieces. And come down here. And do the same thing on the other side and then I need to repeat that that you do have to watch me do because I did not do that ahead of time so I've got one snow globe almost ready and we will get the other one moving you get two when you do a piece like that so you're gonna end up with one extra piece that you won't need right now you can set it aside for your next card so I'm going to line it up. It'll cover right to left. It'll leave a little gap at the base, and that's okay. And again, we're going to come in, snip away, do the same thing on the other side. So now I've got two, and I'm going to do one more, which requires tearing. Again, tear it toward me. A little variation works. And then I'll set that other piece aside. I'm going to put a little glue along the top edge and a little glue on my globe. And I'm not putting my glue away because I know I'm going to keep on using it with all, assembling all these pieces. So then I'll line up again. And from the back side, I'm going to snip away. I had so much fun playing with this bundle, and I definitely am going to have fun doing more with it. Um, so stay tuned over the next few weeks as I get going on that. So let's go ahead and do the front. So the front card. What I chose to do was to take the tall green tree, the largest of the ones in this set. And again, you don't need a ton of glue, you need some. I'm gonna do a little bit of glue and I'm gonna lay this kinda on the upper portion of my globe, like so. I'm gonna ink up my penguin. Any of these pieces you could do on the front. I use the ones I chose. So grab Mr. Penguin. He's going to come kind of in the foreground a little ways to the one side of my um, tree. And then I'm going to put just some dots. This is a larger snowflake die that was in, in um, if I can get a little dots glue on here need a ton. I just need a little to hold. There we go. And it'll hold them on. And I'm going to angle this one like so. And then I'm going to grab my take your pick tool with the putty end. Remember our take your pick tool's got some different options. And I'm just going to drop one dot of glue there and then with my take your pick tool I can grab a snowflake and just lay it on top now I'd almost be done but I want to make sure that I um, put some Wink Estella and so all these different things I think Wink Estella does a great job of just highlighting a little bit more glimmer so I'm gonna 
do that and then I liked it across the top of my snowy seam. So we're going to do that now and then as I assemble all the rest of these um, we'll continue to add a little Wink of Stella. So I've got that one ready and I'm going to just set it here for the moment because I will line it up when I'm busy doing my um, assembly of the whole card. So now I've got the second one and this one I had a little more fun with. Um, I'm going to take the peaks and I'm going to make them look a lot taller than what they are. I grabbed the tallest peak. These are the ones we stamped in the pool party. And I want to come almost center, but not quite. And I'm going to take it up a ways. Up in the sky almost. And then I'm going to grab the smaller peak. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to line it up below. So it's going to come down a little further and over. Always so much kind of fun to do. And then I'm going to take my house, my log cabin, and I'm going to line it up on top. So it's going to cover and come over a little ways, like so. Then I've got the darker tree, I've got two trees. This one's busy, but I liked it. So again, I said you can have so much fun putting together your scenes on these. Thus the snowy scenes. Hopefully it's one of the ones you're going to want out of um, our new catalog when it comes out. So I'm just going to kind of, I'll go a little lower on this one. Come over here and off to one side. And then I'm going to grab a mini dimensional. At least I think I am. I'm going to grab a mini dimensional and I'm going to stick one in the middle of this tree. Grab backing off and then I'm going to set it on top so that this tree is kind of in the foreground like so. Now the only thing we got left are a few snowflakes in the sky and I'm going to do three snowflakes. So I'm going to put one here, one here, actually I'm doing four. One here, one here, and one down here. And again we're going to grab that take your pick tool which is just big enough to grab those things. They're hard to grab and so the take your pick tool again is one of those things if you've not added it to your um, stamping tool set, you're going to want it. So then I'll come over here, grab this one. So we've got that scene now ready. Let's see if we lift this up. Oh, this will pick it up like so. That one's ready. Then I've got one more scene. So on this one, I am going to grab Mr. Snowman. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue and I find Overall, you don't need a lot of glue and that I don't really need um, even a fine tip. So I'm going to line up my snowman. I don't want him too tall because I'm going to stick that hat on him. So here we are. And I'm going to stick a present. Now I may use my take your pick tool just to pick some of these things up. So let's see, I'm going to put the red one behind my petal pink one. Again, I'm going to take and put, I want to put a dimensional on that. Again, you only need one. And set him on the front. So he's got gifts that he's happy to give. And then we need to put his hat on him. So I've got his hat here. And he just looked a little, a little cold. Ha ha ha, he was a snowman after all. So then I'm going to take his hat, kind of angle it. 
you could put it on straight. And then he needs a few snowflakes. And so I've got these last three little snowflakes. I'm just going to scatter them in some open spaces, like so. And we will line up and grab a snowflake. Again, you can get them kind of tipped around easily with your take your pick putty tool. I, this is the part of this tool I use all the time. So like so. So then I've got that part of, so I've got three scenes ready to go. So here we go. What I decided was that I wanted this to be a five and a half inch tall card. So I started it here and it works real well if I've got this lined up so that it's at five and a half. And then do I have my pencil? I do, I have my pencil here. So I've got my pieces and I'm gonna line up this one. I want it to come down about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna put a little mark of my pencil so that I can line that up on there. And then, I know it's not going down all the way, so I'm gonna put some glue here. So I've got my pencil mark, which will help me know about how far I want it to go. It helps me to center it on this panel. Okay, and then I will verify before I get going that I'm not too tall. Nope, I'm not too tall. It could go taller, but I'm not real worried about that. So here we go. Then my season's greetings, I can go ahead and attach that. I found it was easier to do it after the fact than it was to do it um, on the globe before I put it down. So then I can line up my base of my globe. Get that nice and great. So then, to figure out how I want all these other pieces. What I found worked real well was to close it. And then I'm gonna take my house, line it up, kind of get an eyeball idea of about how tall it is. So I know that I want ink somewhere down into here, or not ink, glue down into here. So as long as I've got enough to hold it, I've got here, then I know when I do it this way that I'm centered and I'm not going to have any of my globes taller than one another. So I've got it here, see it opened up. Then I can take my next base, put it on, line it over here. So that I've got a nice snow globe base in the center. And then I'm going to do something very similar on this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Mr. Snowman. How did I do this? I think I must have come in and done him here. So this is what I did. Ha, sad when you can't remember. I'm going to line him up on top of the previous one and so that will give me an idea how tall I need it. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm going to hold it from the top and then I'm going to fold this over. And when I do that, it will attach it so that then I can verify, make sure that none of them are taller. They're not. And then I can attach this last base. Um, that seemed to work really well. Because um, you don't want them to be different. Actually, I'm going to move our we're not going to do it yet. So I'm going to line over here and grab and put it on the under part of my snow globe. So I've got a nice section here. And the last thing I'm putting on is this Let It Snow. And I could use my um, stamp and seal, but we don't need to. We're gonna use it here. 
And then I'm going to put my Let It Snow not upside down. That would be really bad. Over on this side. And so I have a section in the center that I can write a message. I could write a message on the back side as well. And the beauty of this is that it will stand. And so it's a nice greeting. I think you will love it. I hope that this is one that you add to um, your wish list for when that catalog starts on September the 4th. Um, I'm going to come back here for just a moment and thank you for joining me again. I hope that you subscribe both to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook group um, and have fun with the Snowy Scenes um, bundle and suite out of our brand new um, soon to be released mini catalog. Have a wonderful rest of your day and happy stamping.